Okay, so welcome folks. Um, this is John Matus, and I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick tutorial on how to submit your AHA roster to Less Stress Instructional Services. Uh, this is lessstress.com. It's our website. Uh, so if you go there, you will see this page come up. And if you go here to the right hand side, you will notice that there is an instructor login. This login basically um, ports you to the area where you would submit your roster. So I'm going to click on that. Um, and there's some useful things here. Uh, first of all, the, your various forms that you would use. Uh, so let's say you're running a heart saver course, you would click here, and uh, the heart saver skill sheet comes up, and you can print as many of those as you need. Uh, there are various steps for submitting the AHA program. Uh, if you need books or mannequins or mouthpieces or anything like that, you can click here and it'll port you to our online store. Uh, and if you're ready to submit a roster, there is a roster online submission button right here. So I'm going to click on that, and it will give me the ability to go ahead and log in. Now, uh, for the login to work, you have to realize that we have to have your data entry done. So if you just did the instructor course yesterday, um, it's possible that we're not quite done and you don't have you in the system. So uh, just keep in mind, um, you know, you need to give us a couple of days. But if you're already active and you've submitted a course before, it should just work. Um, it is simply your uh, email address that we have on record for you and the web access password that we have assigned you. There is a forgot my password link that you can use in the event that you forget. But um, it'll put you to this area, which is especially helpful for submitting uh, rosters. Um, so a couple of things before we do the roster submission. If you click on your information, you will notice here that um, it lets you make some edits. So if you have a new address or a new telephone number, et cetera, you can enter that here. Uh, if you click on credentials, it'll show you all of the various instructorships that we have on record for you. So hopefully you will be reminded uh, when your expiration is up and you need to get monitored and re renew your credential. Uh, your courses um, will display here. So a couple of things about that. Um, if you need to check if you've taught enough courses to renew your certificate, um, they will be listed here. And they will be um, in date order, as you can see. Um, kind of up to you to figure out how many in the four year period you've taught. And this will display all of your volume. Um, you will also notice that um, some of them have pencils and some of them do not. So if you see the little pencil, it means the course has not been locked for editing. If you do not see the pencil, it tells you that the course is complete. This is also a great way of knowing if your cards have been processed yet. So for example, let's say you've submitted a roster two to three days ago. Rather than calling us, um, we would encourage you to come here because the phone volume is sort of high in the office uh, sometimes and is a little difficult to talk on the phone uh, for little things like this. But it's very, very easy for you to know whether or not uh, your cards have been processed and your import has been done um, because if you don't see the pencil it's been marked completed okay if it's not here altogether it's because we haven't processed it yet so if you were to submit a roster right now and then immediately check thereafter it wouldn't even be on this list but um, your courses will generally appear here without a pencil when they've been done um, if we need more information from you we will often leave, import the course but leave it unlocked in which case you'll have a chance to click on the pencil and then edit the course particular so for example let's say you've submitted a roster and you said hey listen um, I, I just realized there was five people in this course not four I need to add one more person we will import the course but not lock it that way you could come here to the new student button and then add that last person and resubmit it like so so once again, um, if you see um, courses and you see no pencil, that means your cards are likely done and off and running. Um, so submit rosters. Let's talk a little bit about that. Um, this is basically the area where you would do it. Um, so the course group is essentially the people that you have taught, meaning the um, folks that you have conducted the course for. It could also mean your name, depending on the circumstances. So for example, um, let's say that you did a renewal at your fire department. This would be the most um, appropriate way of writing that out. Okay. On the other hand, um, if you simply renewed someone, um, I don't know, maybe in your home, you did a quick skills check for a healthcare provider online course or something along those lines, um, then maybe like that's the best way to do it. So if there's a commonality to your group, uh, ABC Fire Department would be um, the best way to do it. Course location, maybe it's station one because you taught it at that particular fire station. Course type, basically your list of courses appear here. So I'm going to choose BLS Renal. My course date, let's say that we did this course on May 2nd, and we did it at 9 
can. Um, comments, um, you can put just a general comment like this. Or um, if you have a specific, so for example, let's say that you're not responsible for the bill for these cards, um, your employer is, you can put something like that. So that will give us an idea of what to do with that. Um, the instructor who taught the class and the email, this is probably you. Now if you have more than one instructor, so for example, let's say you had 10 students and two people taught it, then you would put second person in by clicking this add instructor button, which will now give you a second uh, profile to add a person. Uh, if this person is an instructor at Less Stress Instructional Services, then no worries, we'll have their information. On the other hand, if you use somebody who is not affiliated with us, we're going to need a copy of that person's instructor card also. So just kind of keep that in mind. Next, you need to put in your student information. Uh, I'm going to put two students in here just for the purposes of discussion here. Um, you can put in uh, additional information, address, etc., email. Um, but bare minimum, we're going to need on a healthcare provider course is first name, last name, and test score, and pass or fail, of course. Now you'll notice that the shopping cart type area here will calculate your total due. And then you can put in uh, your form of payment. We would encourage you to use a credit card because that's just easier for everyone. Um, if this is like something that needs to go to the local township because you did it for your municipality, then you know we can work out those details. Um, you can also use PayPal, which is a very, very simple way of paying should you want to do that. Now, once you have done all of that, um, you can go ahead and submit your roster. Now, please keep in mind that in addition to submitting the data, which is what we're doing here, we're also going to need your skill sheets and course evals uh, and written tests for the students. So um, we would definitely encourage you to scan those and attach them as an attachment. You can put up to five attachments with every course. Um, you don't have to do them in any one particular way. You can have the skill sheets together and then all the evals together, however you want to do that. Um, if you're going to do that, you simply browse, attach whatever the document is, and it'll upload with the course paperwork. If you don't use the upload, we're going to have to wait until your stuff comes in by regular mail to be able to issue the card. So please keep in mind, everyone, um, the easiest and smoothest way to do this is simply to go ahead and push uh, the data to us along with the course. Now, once again, as I explained earlier, if you go here to courses, we will not see the ABC Fire Department course because we still have to download it. But what should happen here is um, in the next 24 to 48 hours, that's about average for us, uh, you will see the ABC Fire Department down here um, as an imported course. And um, if we have your paperwork, it'll just show with no little pencil, meaning it's been processed, and you will know that the cards are on their way. So um, I hope that's been a useful tutorial for you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can reach us at office at lessstress.com by email, or you can call us at 973-427-9692. So thank you, and uh, good luck in submitting your courses.